Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Francesco. Um, welcome to Keep Productive. If you're new here, subscribe. And if you're in the hunt for tools, maybe you're not because you're <laughs> checking out uh, generally for Notion, uh, jump over to Tool Finder. You'll find it linked below. It's loads of tools. Uh, we're growing it very fast uh, and you can find everything there. So um, many people might know that there is a feature called uh, Notion Home, and it is very similar to the concept like Evernote Home, where you've got all of your sort of widgets in one location. You can pin a My Tasks area, which is essentially a database, and just customize it to your liking. Now, it does have limited amount of widgets, but more recently, they've added a brand new widget. And if I go to the change, um, uh, sorry, uh, go to show and hide widgets, I can now select upcoming events. Now, many people will know what this looks like. It is uh, Notion Calendar, and it brings in it from Notion Calendar once it's connected to your Notion account. So as you can see, it's brought in a couple of items for me, like notes for Bex, uh, spring bank holiday, and they are all clickable, which means that once I click one of these items, it will go straight to the Notion Calendar event inside of the application. Now, you're probably wondering, how does this work and how can I use this to my advantage? Well, very simply, you need to make sure that it's activated up here first, the show and hide widgets area, and likely you will be able to uh, connect up your calendar. It probably will automate it if you've already got the Notion Calendar app. And as you can see, the calendars appear. You can choose um, what ones you have, but I've got the mirror calendar app here, which means that it's just going to select things that is already inside of my Notion Calendar setup, which is very helpful and saves a bit of time. You can include events uh, for today, tomorrow, and uh, even up to one week, but that is the limit, and there's a medium, medium ground for uh, three days. And as you can see here, you can remove or hide all day events as well, and events without participants, which means that you could just show your meetings, essentially, uh, which might be helpful. And you can see the events without conferencing and location. You can also hide this from the home, which essentially just removes it from the show and hide widgets area. Now, as you can see, this is really helpful because say you were using your um, Notion home just to open it up and be like, right, what do I need to do for the day? What are my meetings looking like? Bang, bang, bang. And I could be able to join them. Uh, well, join them partially, I guess, because I can click into them and then join them from the relevant area in Notion home. You can also press this plus button, which means you create an event, but essentially that creates an event for right now and it does it into the Notion calendar app. So nothing really that drastically special. So why do I believe this is one of the first steps in the Notion sort of progression? I've talked about Notion Home being a much more convenient way to organize your Notion. It's sort of like their bet on trying to organize your Notion in a structured way, whereas in a sort of open canvas way is what they're doing now. But I believe that this could be one of the first chips they lay into testing widgets and prompting uh, into databases. So what I believe is in Notion, uh, I think soon what you'll be able to do is if you wanna create a database on anything or you want to be able to organize it in a fashion that is more suitable for you, you will use something like Notion Home in a new capacity. So you would create a new home area um, that will basically rep be similar to this, but it will have five or six widgets that you can prompt using the AI to choose a structure for you. So for example, say you wanted to start a new fresh project and you were like, I want to bring in um, the sales information for the last three months and I want it to be filtered to influencers, their marketing campaign for influencers. You could have a widget with that prompt that you type in and it brings it in all together for you and has it as a widget function. I think that's much more suitable and beneficial for people using Notion than having multiple different areas and sort of this open canvas appeal. It's much more structured and takes away from some of the uh, traditional way that we've been using Notion for years. Now, as I said um, in the past, this could be quite damaging for the Notion community because if you can prompt the ability to create a database in Notion, that could also be negative for those creating templates. Because say you said something like, create a brand new database, using uh, second brain concept and organize it for my notes, but I want to make sure that I tag notes that are journals, daily notes and uh, memories, you know, just as a, an example. That in itself 
is taking the weight out of creating a template. So I think that is probably where the future is going for Notion. You want a Notion that's much more flexible and easy to use and takes the weight out of creating spaces, which I think we'll look back to as a very archaic activity. So hopefully I comprehend myself, uh, comprehend myself, <laughs> made myself uh, sort of uh, explain myself a bit better. Um, but I think this is a very exciting update and something that I think we'll see more of in the future when it comes to Notion Home widgets. It'd be exciting to see how many people are using Notion Home and whether they use this as their first page for the day when starting with Notion. So thank you very much, folks. I really hope you found this video useful. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments. And if you're hunting for a tool, find it on Tool Finder. I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.